Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes and I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise, okay? Today we got a really quick message and this one's gonna be for Libra. Libra, I'm using my random deck, okay? So whatever comes out is what it is. Anything can come out. Take what resonates, throw away the rest, all right? If the shoe does not fit, don't make it. Moving on, baby. Don't forget to press that there like button. Thank you the long way. Can I get one card, please, for Libra? Libra. So, okay, Libra. Libra, every time I hear your name, it's always more so like a chant, okay? So I feel like you are in this room, okay? You are, you're going to come across this message. This message is for you. Can I get one card, please, for Libra? One card and one card only, please, for Libra. Yeah, the top of the deck says it's time to create. Yeah, it's like magic, baby. Libra, you're being called on, okay? You may receive a ringing in your ear. I feel like that's 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 your wake-up call, okay? It's your time to create. It's your time to take action. It is your time to manifest, okay? I'm getting the I'm getting the energy is strong, all right? Okay, so if you if you are a Libra with he I'm hearing grand trine or trine in your birth chart, for those of you that that um Know your birth chart. I'm getting the energy is strong for you or the energy is good for you. The energy is conducive for you to create or take action. It's something about energy is strong, okay? Now, this create can be a child, okay? So, you can be very fertile right now. So, you, I, I'm getting that you're going to, you, you can create life, okay? Pregnancy is high is what I'm hearing, Libra. <laughs> I'm hearing jump on the stick, just jump on the stick, just jump on the stick, just jump on the stick. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so you, 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 I'm gonna ride like a rodeo, cowgirl. Okay, so you up on it, do your thing. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're a performer. <laughs> Okay, Libra, just know that the energy is strong. You may get pregnant or whatever. <laughs> Moving on, can I get one card, please, for Libra? One card, please, for Libra, please. One card, please, for Libra. Libra. Okay, it says, good news, good news. And spying and stalking came out of the card deck. So I'm going to put spying and stalking to the side. Good news is what came out first. So good news is in the air, okay? I'm hearing love is in the air. So so if you were wondering if someone loves you, how they feel about you, they love you, they like you, they want to be with you. That's the confirmation. That's what the good news is. It could be with the Pisces, okay, or something like that. Moving on, I'm getting good news is, yeah, pregnancy as well, 10 of cups, okay? I'm actually getting, if someone here sees a rainbow, okay, a rainbow, that's a confirmation that good good things is coming, prosperity is coming, good luck is there on your side, all right? Can I get a card, please, for Libra? Why is good news? What is the good news? Yes! 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 <laughs> Sorry, Libra. Yes. Good news. The Knight of Cups talks about an approach. Okay. So someone's going to approach you. It could possibly be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So someone's going to ask you out on a date or they're going to invite you somewhere. I feel like someone wants to take you out for drinks. Drinks, drinks. I'm hearing drinks and dinner and a movie. Okay. So threes. I'm here. I just keep hearing threes. Okay. So three things drinks, dinner, and a movie. Okay, so I feel like that's what's coming with the good news from a water sign. Others of you, I feel like the also the good news is a soulmate connection, a lover's connection. Yes. So the motherfucker that's the eight of cups walking into your life is a soulmate connection. I feel like divine timing is on your side. Okay, love is in the air. Like I said, it's your relationship. God damn. I mean, whatever you're doing right now, you're going in the right direction, Libra. You're on the right path. Okay, some of you some of you guys had to leave everything behind. You had to literally just walk away from something, okay? But you're about to walk into something better. Great, okay? It's your divine purpose. It's in your alignment. It's supposed to go like this. Some of you guys could be connecting with the Gemini, okay? I have no, I'm hearing all good, all good news from here. Those of you that are watching, just know from now into the course of eight over the course of eight months great things are happening for you now i don't know why there's so much um there's a, like a lot of information that's here to tell you to tell you the truth there's a lot of things that i could talk about but i'm trying to dial down on one one to two particular topics here okay so i want to say this if someone here is having unprotected sex with a water sign scorpio cancer pisces big emphasis on pisces Okay, it could be a uh, Gemini and they have moon and Pisces. I, be, I I feel like the 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 
fate of you guys' relationship is sealed by intercourse. Sexual intercourse. I like literally I see this person inserting themselves in you and like I feel like one becomes two. So if you've been think if you're in a beginning stages, new stages of whether or not this person is 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 good for you, the answer is yes. Yes. I'm hearing cancer, okay? Maybe some of you guys have questions about a cancer. It's funny because I believe that someone here has has your fate, you, on their hands. To be very honest with you, it's their right hand. So you guys may have um, past life, soul ties, okay? Because this person that's coming in your life or that you're dealing with, they feel real familiar. They feel like you've been here before. You know them. Every word that they speak, you finish. Every word you speak, they finish. It's, it's something about their right hand that is very specific. They keep pointing out the side of their hand. Now, depending on depending on who you go to that read palms, okay? Um, some people say the marriage lines are on the side. Some people say they're in the middle, like in the middle of your hand. I believe this, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like this is like um, Middle Eastern, somebody that reads um, Middle East, like that type of knowledge. It's on the side, okay? I feel like someone here is destined to be married to a water sign or to have children with them. Everything good is in alignment for you right now. Everything's in balance. I'm getting the number 22. That's a master number. You're a master builder. You build, you're building from the ground up a firm foundation in love. With the spying and stalking card here, the overall deck is a um, spying and stalking card, page of swords. And then you have spying and stalking here. If you've been wondering if someone is spying and stalking on you, this could be um, stalking your social media. This could be someone um, talking and asking questions about you to people that you know, driving past your house, going to your job, anything like that. Okay, I believe that is actually happening. Someone is spying and stalking on you. It's definitely going to be a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Okay, I feel like you guys are at a distance. So I feel like this may be more so someone stalking your social media. Because they still care for you. They still love you or they're in love with you or they just want to keep tabs on you. Okay. Someone here may have like a little bit of jealousy or control issues. It's the fire sign. This is for someone very specific. It's not for everybody. But there is going to be someone here that's going to end up in a polyous relationship. You'll be in a poly relationship with a Gemini, a Pisces, and a Scorpio. I'm getting I'm getting three women, one man. I feel like you're going to like this polyus relationship. I feel like someone here comes from a background or a religion based that they're it, they're they they can marry to more than one woman or they can have more than one woman. I feel like you're going to do it and you're going to love it. You have no problems. I'm going to leave that there.